Hi, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. Now in this episode, I'm gonna show you two things, how to properly start up your grill, and two, a really big, huge one that's all over the form is what is the P setting? How do I modify it and what does it do? Now I'm gonna post later on a link to a couple of different websites or even maybe the one that I like that actually explains the P settings in what we call layman's terms so that everybody can understand what it does. And I'm actually gonna read a little bit from it. it Talked about the P settings. So at the default P setting, I believe it's a three. Now what that means is 15 seconds on and 75 seconds off. Okay, what does that mean? What's on, what's off? Well, when it says on, that is the actual auger. That's gonna be turning and feeding the pellets into the hot pot. So when it says, 15 seconds on, that means for 15 seconds, it's rotating and feeding the pellets into the hot pot. 75 seconds off basically means it's chilling out and waiting for the pellets to kind of start smoking. Now, depending on where you are, you may have to adjust your piece settings either up or down. Now, I always tell people don't ever do a piece setting zero because that basically means the auger never turns off. It just keeps going over and over and over and over again. And I don't want that. It usually causes a lot of burnout because it just keeps constantly feeding the pellet, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on, but I wanna show you something of where that piece setting module is. And right over here, there is a little tiny pinhole. Now, most of the time, it had a little sticker that said, do not remove. Well, go ahead and re remove that. Now, I also caution people that you don't want to always use a metal object. Uh, reason why is there's been stories of people putting screwdrivers or paper clips or whatever into the machine and it shorts out and now you have a bad controller. Good thing is that Traeger has been really good about replacing the controllers when that happens. So what do I use? I like to use a toothpick, okay? So we're gonna turn the machine on by hitting the little power switch here and also by hitting it on smoke. Now you notice right now it's saying 69 degrees, no big deal. Now to get to the P settings, which is right here, put this thing in and you'll notice right now mine says P2. I can go P3 all the way through up until nine or zero. So I like to use mine right now, I'm in California, at a P2 setting. So when I first set the grill, I always start at a P2 and I will adjust the grill accordingly once it goes through the standard fire up cycle. Now the start up cycle in the Traeger manual tells you between 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna smoke and you must leave the lid open. A lot of people have been leaving the lids closed and they come back and they find out they got the air message. Well, why? Because you're not getting the air into the machine and you're not doing the proper startup, okay? So we're just gonna let this thing chill out for a little bit, 10 to 15 minutes, and it should automatically do it. Now, you can hear the fan blowing and if you ever play with the machine, you'll hear it's almost like a, a mini explosion, like a sound when that hot pot kicks in and it just starts rumbling and just going. And that's like a, the most coolest sound to have on your machine. So right now, this is basically a proper startup clean machine. Um, pellets into the hopper, it's full. We cleaned it. We adjusted the P setting. It was pre on a two. But again, you have to adjust it accordingly so that on your smoke settings, you want to range between 150 to about 180, give or take, okay? And then you adjust it from there. And if you notice that your temperatures are dropping too low, you know, drop your P setting. If you think your temperatures are too um, high, then, you know, raise the P setting, okay? And you'll notice that depending on the temperature, just because today I'm on a P2, tomorrow I may not be on a P2. I may be on a P3 or even a P4 or even a P5. It just depends. In the summertime, I can run this thing all the way up to P5 sometimes. It just depends on what the weather is, where you are, how hot, how cold it is, and it also depends on the pellets that you use. All right, but this is again the proper setup. You see that it's starting to smoke a little bit. It's gonna keep doing that. Leave this thing open. 
Uh, usually about this time is when I pretty much walk away from the grill and I go into the kitchen and I get the food ready to actually come back on the grill. So this is a proper startup. It also shows you how to adjust the P settings using a simple toothpick.